we um wanted to give him a party. We didn't want to give him a funeral. It that just wasn't setting right with me saying funeral for my son. The type of son that I had, my son loves to have fun. He was the life of the party. So that's why I sent him home that way, having a party. Our first meeting that we had with the funeral home, uh, my mom made it very clear. She said, I don't want it to be a funeral. I want, it's his last show. I don't want nobody to ever look down on my son. So the they, funeral home services actually, you know, took it from there. And helped me and, with what I wanted to do. And they brought our idea to so like, we didn't say we want him, you know, standing up. We did say we wanted him propped up some way. Um, yeah. Because we did see other services that that it was done that way. So we liked it. And that's what we wanted. Yeah. So when she did it and I told her I liked it and we went with our theme that we was going to do the club party scene. That's what I wanted to do. And the King uh, Crown, she did that for me because she said he's the King of Merlin, right? You said you're son the King of Merlin. So that's why we put the crown on him because he's the King of Merlin. And he had fans that love him. If you, you had to be there, it was a beautiful celebration. My brother didn't go to church. So that would be unlikely and very fake and phony for us to go and put putting my brother in a in a casket. In a suit. And listening to gospel music in a suit. He clearly my brother told me he didn't want to be in no suit. Mm -mm. Exactly what he had on. And Mary, that's that's he loved Murray. My, that's what my brother liked. Yeah, and Murray down from the top to the bottom. So all he dressed Murray. my brother how he liked. He looked exactly how he was, literally, if he was here and mm -hmm. breathing. Mm -hmm. And we lived and we partied for him on that day how my brother would have wanted. Everything we did was not just for my mother, but it was how my brother would have wanted. Yeah.